In this problem, we're going to connect the idea that we can use the ideal gas law to figure out an amount of gas to reaction stoichiometry and as part of solving a chemical balanced equation problem. Here we have how many grams of liquid sodium are produced per liter of nitrogen gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 1.0 bar for this particular reaction. Two sodium nitride gives us two sodium liquid and three nitrogen gas. Now here we see that we're talking about grams of sodium per liter of N2. We're talking about two different chemicals, but they are connected together by that balanced equation. So those two amounts, more correctly, are connected together by moles. That's what the stoichiometry is telling us. So we see that we've got information of the nitrogen gas product in terms of liters, temperature, and bar, three of the state variables. The only one that isn't there, amount, moles. We're going to use the ideal gas law to figure out the number of moles of nitrogen and then use the stoichiometry of the reaction to connect that to the amount of sodium, and then we'll use the molar mass to figure out the actual final mass of sodium. So let's work on that. First things first, our temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. Well, that's got to be 298 Kelvin for our purposes. We're using the ideal gas law. We've got a pressure of 1.00 bar or 1.0 bar. And the question is asking per liter, so let's choose a volume of one liter. And let's give it a third sig fig so we are making our pressure our kind of uh, least confident bit of information. When you get to pick, don't pick something that makes your problem worse in terms of giving you an answer. Pretty simple. So based on that, of course, PV equals NRT, which means N equals PV over RT. That's going to be our 1.0 bar, 1.00 liter, divided by 0 0.083145 liter bar per Kelvin per mole. I'm using a different unit here than in some other problems, but that's just to prove a point that you can. And 298 Kelvin. Again, not standard temperature and pressure, but close enough. We're talking about 1 24th of a liter. Don't be too surprised when we get something about 0 0.05 as an answer. That seems to be the ballpark. So, 1 times 1 divided by 0 0.083145 divided by 298, and I get 0 0.0406 moles. Well, that's moles of nitrogen per liter of gas. Now, the number of moles of sodium we see should be the number of moles of nitrogen where we get our stoichiometric coefficients there. We make two sodium for every three nitrogen. We can really get rid of that kind of stuff. And really we find that the number of moles of sodium is two thirds the number of moles of nitrogen. It's gonna be Zero point zero two six nine moles. And now that we know that, we can say the mass of sodium equals the moles of sodium times the molar mass. That's going to be the zero point zero two six nine moles. Our molar mass of sodium, ooh, let's say twenty three point nine eight. I'll have to check that grams per mole. So times 23.98, and it seems to be 0 0.64 grams. And I'm limiting it to two sig figs because of the two sig figs I had up here.